In the last video, I showed you how to create a failover replica for a Cloud SQL database. In this video, I'll show you how to create read replicas for your Cloud SQL databases. So here we are in Cloud SQL, and I have a database created here. If we scroll over to the action menu on the right, notice there's a choice create a read replica. So let's click on that choice. Now, when we create our read replica and give it a name, and then we can set it, set its location to any region or zone in the world. So our main database is located in Northern Virginia. Let's say we have customers all over the United States and we want to have the main database in Northern Virginia, but we want to create a read replica on the West Coast. So why don't we pick US West 2 as our region and US West 2A as our zone for this read replica. And then hit create and that read replica will be created for you. Now what's the difference between a read replica and a failover replica? A failover replica is only used in the event of the main database going down. A read replica can be used if you have customers that are geographically dispersed or if you have a lot of customers. The, I guess the difference between a fail, failover replica and a read replica is a failover replica doesn't get an IP address and it only would ever be given an IP address in the case of the main database going down whereas read replicas will be given their own IP addresses. So if we want to send a database read to one of the read replicas, we just specify the different location. Anyway, it'll take a few minutes for that database to be ready. Okay, it took a few minutes for the read replica to be created, but now if we go back to our list of instances, notice here's our database, and if we expand the arrow, now we have our read replica. And notice our read replica has its own IP address. So now if a user is using my web app and they're running from an instance in California, I'll use this IP address to send that read to the database running in California. And if they're running the, from a web server that's in Northern Virginia, then when we do a read, we'll use this IP address right here to send the read there. And we could have as many read replicas as we wanted to all over the world if we had customers all over the world. Anyway, that's how you create read replicas in Google Cloud SQL. This is Doug Renstrom with ROI Training.